hey what is up everyone i hope all of you are doing great and in today's question we have an attempt is being made to roll a rigid sphere of mass m up a vertical wall coefficient of friction between the sphere and the wall is mu find the minimum force applied on the sphere to roll it up acceleration of gravity is g i like this type of short questions uh, rather than those large huge bulky paragraph types <coughs> okay so let's get started and uh, so we have a vertical plane or vertical wall okay a rough vertical wall having coefficient of friction equals to mu and we have a rigid solid sphere okay uh, let the radius be r actually it was not required and mass is m we need to find out the minimum force required to move it upwards and as we know pulling force for minimum force the force must be in pulling mode that means you should not push the block you should pull the block okay so let me take this one as the vertical line okay now let me apply a force at a given angle theta in the tangential direction okay so friction will act upwards gravity will act downwards okay so if this is theta this angle will also be theta right there will be a normal force by the wall on the rigid sphere so for pure rolling the vertical force now what are the vertical forces let us see uh, the vertical forces are f sin theta and uh, friction and mg so f sin theta plus the friction must be greater than equals mg for moving it upwards and uh, if you sit on the center the clockwise torque is due to this one and the anti clockwise torque is due to friction now for pure rolling the acceleration must be in the vertically upward direction and the angular acceleration must be in clockwise sense okay so the torque due to capital f must be greater than the torque due to the friction okay so f r that is torque due to capital f must be greater than equal to torque due to friction okay so f must be greater than equal to small f and another one that the net force on the right hand side that is f cos theta must be equal to the normal okay so another one is so this one is the first one second one and f cos theta equals to normal now we need to find out the minimum value of capital f so for minimum value of capital f we need to take the maximum value of the friction so f max will be mu times n that is mu times f cos theta so we'll just plug this value of f in the first equation and we will have f sin theta plus mu times f cos theta <coughs> greater than equals mg so let us take the limiting value and just put equal to here so f equals mg divided by sin theta plus mu cos theta so for minimum value of f we need the maximum value of this denominator so we'll just differentiate it with respect to theta and equate it to zero so we have cos theta minus mu sin theta equals to zero so we have tan theta equals one divided by mu so for minimum value we need to just find, uh, plug this value of theta in this equation so this one is theta tan theta means 1 by mu that is 1 plus mu square and the minimum value of f would be mm, mg divided by sin theta is 1 divided by root over 1 plus mu square plus mu cos theta so cos theta is mu divided by root over 1 plus mu square so we have mg divided by 1 plus mu square 1 plus mu square 
okay so that would give you mg divided by root over 1 plus mu square so the minimum value of force that is needed to just uh, roll the rigid sphere in the upward direction would be this one so i hope you all found this video helpful and informative if you like the video just slap that subscribe button and uh, share it with your friends okay i hope you all get a very good marks in your upcoming exams good luck peace